Welcome back everybody. In this class, I'm just going to separate the sidebar, okay? I'm just going to the menu area and in the menu area, this is the sidebar and this is the most perfect sidebar, I think. It's because I just applied all the effects and uh, actually all the PHP on the menu.php page sidebar. I didn't do anything with this sidebar, you know, that this is the uh, some kind of uh, rough matter so let's just simply cut this php or the whole list group okay i'm just cutting the whole list group from there and cutting that and pasting this in the create another page and paste this here okay now here what i'm just going to do is actually creating a new page side bar dot php and save that okay now just simply call the sidebar here the PHP and the sidebar after the form I'm just adding I'm just including includes slash sidebar dot PHP okay cover that now simply go to the browser and refresh that now nothing happens but when I just click on nature now you can see that this is coming from the sidebar dot PHP page that means I just done that the menu.php you know that that the menu.php has the sidebar so now let's just simply copy that and just remove all the sidebars uh, the complete list group from the post.php and simply paste this okay and go to the index.php and simply remove all the listing and the list groups and simply paste this sidebar there and I'll go back to the browser and refresh that now if I just click on the CMS system means the index.php now I got the same sidebar or if I just click on read more it means I'm inside the big page now the same sidebar is, is here as well okay refresh that but the thing is that I just want to add the active sign with the sidebar as well I want to do the same there so what to do now just simply go to the sidebar and here what I'm just doing obviously just going inside the while loop and adding an if okay inside the while loop okay and here I'm just calling oh sorry not if again is set and the thing is that here I'm just adding the get post ID now what is the post ID you know when you just click on the uh, when you are inside the post.php you got the post ID okay so that is the post ID which I'm just adding here okay so let's delete the extra one engine if the post ID is exist then what should happen then another if okay this nested if what I'm just doing here okay you say that the post ID is exist then if the post ID is in the matching with the rows and actually this is the database I'm talking about okay the rows ID okay the this ID belongs to the database you know so now the class I'm doing the same which I just did before and here the value should be active okay otherwise the class value should be dollar class and the thing is only empty okay that is perfect and now simply copy the cells and just paste that here as well so this is perfect save that now I am just adding the here add in a space and add the class class and save that now refresh that okay the problem refresh that again okay now I'm on the second post if I just click on first post now the first post is selected now if I just on second post the second post is selected and that is why it is blue and if I just on the menu now no, no post is selected okay if I just click on click here okay 
so I just go by the read more button but no problem the first post is selected so that is why it is here this method is really simple which I just did there I'm just teaching you that again to not to forget you actually what I just did here I just simply say that if the post IDs exist then do this if this if and what is inside this if actually I'm just checking that the post ID if the post ID is equal to the raws ID okay then the class should be active otherwise the class should be empty or if the post ID doesn't exist then the class ID should be nothing well I don't need this thing by the way this is that because uh, the post page won't do won't show anything if this won't be created from the previous page by the way so well no problem here I'm just telling that uh, if the post ID is uh, equal to raw ID okay so I'm just getting the class active I'm just adding the class active okay and here I you know that this loop is loop is running two times and this variable is here okay and if there are a lot of posts only one post will be match only one post ID will be matched with this post ID and that will get the active class really simple and really easy we'll learn some more things in next class so stay tuned and goodbye